Here's to you guys. So today is a video that you guys have been requesting for a long time. I'm finally going to unbox my guitar kit and tool kit sent to me from Crimson Custom Guitars for the great guitar build off. And as I'm unboxing it, I'm gonna tell you why I already won the great guitar build off. Now, firstly, I'm dying to see the guitar kit, which I believe is the bigger box. So we don't need the smaller box. Oh, shoot, I just spilled my coffee. All right, let's unbox this thing. All right, this appears to be the neck. Ooh, look at this. Man, the wood grain on this thing is beautiful. I'll definitely get some close-up shots for you guys. I do not even know what kind of wood that is. This must be an ebony fretboard, I'm guessing. Man, that is a good straight neck. And this wood grain is awesome. I don't know what kind of wood this is. All right, and here's the body. Man, this is cool. That is heavy. Again, same kind of wood, whatever that is, and then flame maple cap on there. Now, when I first get a kit, typically the first thing that I do is check to see how well the neck pocket fits. Okay, the neck pocket appears to be a bit too tight. It's okay, I think I can work with that. Although I gotta say, where the heck am I supposed to put my pickups and bridge? Or my electronics? Crimson, really? I thought you guys knew how to build a guitar. All right, well, the guitar kit seems to be a bit of a bust. Let's check out the tools. Firstly, it appears they sent me some kind of uh, essential oils. And the package is opened and it's spilled a little bit. Can't imagine why. Dunning stained shots. These are awesome. I totally feel like Emperor's New Groove right now. Lions, tigers, bears. Oh my. And this one has leaked out. I don't think that happened today because it's a bit crusty. That must have happened during transit. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this is amazing. I don't even know what it's for. It's a saw, of course. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, I don't even know what that's for. Thank you. Uh, oh, it's got a sheath. I'll put it back in the sheath. This appears to be some kind of gauge. We got a string action gauge here. I'm glad that one's labeled so I know what it's for. We got a string spacing rule. Again, I'm glad they labeled it. Of course the wind picks up as soon as I have a bunch of bubble wrap floating around. Yes. Oh, this is great. We got a triangle file, but it's got smooth edges. My triangle file does not have smooth edges, which means I can't use it for fret crowning. So I'm pretty sure this is a fret crowning file. This is also, I'm sure, some kind of fret crowning file. We got one edge that is sharp and one edge that is rounded over. So that's definitely what that is. So sweet. And these, I believe, are fret polishing erasers. Sure did package everything well, didn't they? All right, we have another tool that I have no idea what it is. So if you guys know what this is, let me know in the comments. So I'll put that in the, uh, I don't know, stack. <laughs> Why am I even in this competition? This is, I'm pretty sure, a bone nut blank. So I can cover my own bone nut. And I have another gauge measuring tool. <laughs> okay, um, I'll put that in the, I don't know, stack. All right, what's this? Oh, more stunning stained shots. Shielding paint, ooh, that'll be fun. Doesn't. Stand up. It's got a rounded bottom. And penetrating guitar finishing oil, hand applied oil finish. I'm sure they included that specifically for me because they know that I like an oil finish. Of course, there's only one type of oil that I finish my guitars with. If you guys watch my channel, you know what I'm talking about. A couple more things for the I don't know stack. I think these are fret rockers. I don't know. I always just use a credit card. This looks cool. What? This is something. <laughs> what? My educated guess is that this is for bending fret wire to match the radius of your fretboard. And some tools to go with my tools. 
Allen wrenches and screws. We'll put that in the I don't know pile, but I think I know. All right, and yes, a notched straight edge. I love this black with the red splatter on it. That is a great, great look for Crimson Custom Guitars. And a sanding beam for leveling frets. So, awesome. You know what this stuff is. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I already won the Great Guitar Build Off. And you're probably thinking right now that you figured out how I won. I won because I got all this free stuff, right? Um, well, yeah, I mean, I think that's one way that I won this Great Guitar Build Off for sure. But here's the real reason why I won. This competition is YouTube's greatest guitar builders of all time. I do not feel like I belong in a league with these guys. In fact, even Ben Crow from Crimson Custom Guitars said this about me. Daniel from Guns and Guitars, I've been wanting to work with him for years. I already won. I mean, I, I just, I can't believe that they would think that highly of me to invite me to be a part of this competition. Honestly, I'm just floored. I'm just so honored. Because if there's one guy that doesn't deserve to be in this competition, it's probably this guy. Or this guy. <laughs> but I've gotta be like second or third on that list, I think. And as for the actual competition, no, I didn't win that. I, <laughs> I lost that a long time ago. I lost that when I said yes to entering this competition. I think probably everybody else will raise more money for their charity through their auction. But that doesn't matter to me because I already won. I mean, Texas Toast Guitars said this about me. Dan from Guns and Guitars. Dan Thompson. He is adorable. Uh, um, he's the guy that I watch the most Okay. Of. Not that you guys would know because you guys don't watch that channel. Nobody does. Um, in fact, they are the real winners of this competition. Let me tell you, before they reached out to Crimson Custom Guitars, they had like five subscribers and they reached out to Crimson Custom Guitars. Apparently Crimson is just desperate for collaborations. This is my one takeaway from this competition is that if you have like five subscribers and you're looking to grow your channel, just reach out to Crimson Custom Guitars. They will collaborate with anybody. I mean, <laughs> and not only that, they'll build a beautiful website, which if you haven't yet, check out thegreatguitarbuildoff.com and sign up for the email updates so that you can keep up to date on what's going on with it. And they'll sponsor it. They'll send out all these amazing guitar kits and amazing tools. So yeah, if you are a YouTube channel and you're struggling to get subscribers, reach out right now to Crimson Custom Guitars. Send them an email. Just flood them with emails of amateur YouTubers. Uh, that would be hilarious. But yeah, I mean, Texas Toast Guitars reached out to Crimson and now they've exploded. They've got like 20,000 subscribers. They still only have like five views per video because nobody actually wants to watch their videos. They just want to subscribe because of this competition. They are definitely the real winners here. And... Uh, <laughs> And it's really cute, you know, they reached out to me and offered to share their workshop with me for this guitar build up. Dan, if you need a workshop to come in and do your project, I know you're mobile, you can use my shop. Because they think that my workshop isn't big enough, which is hilarious because, you know, they've got a decent size workshop and they've got some cool tools and stuff, but I mean, have you seen the size of my workshop? I mean, it honestly shocks me that people would want to build guitars indoors in such a creatively stifling environment. I mean, here's the real challenge, Texas Toast. If you guys are so good at building guitars, like you claim, I mean, you, you said that you've already won this competition. If you're so good at building guitars, why don't you load up a suitcase with some tools and come meet me in my workshop? I know you won't. <laughs> but seriously, hopefully you guys know that all this trash talk is in good fun. I'm only doing it because others have encouraged me to do it. And I think Texas Toast is great. You definitely should check out their channel and actually watch one or two of their videos. I know that would help them out. Now these tools are incredible and I can't wait to use them. But if you guys know me and you know my channel, you know that you don't need a bunch of expensive tools to build your dream guitar. That's kind of what my whole channel is all about. And probably the main reason why I'm not gonna take Texas Toast up on their offer to work in their workshop. As much fun as that would be to meet them and collaborate with them and um, get to use all their really nice tools. You guys know that my whole thing is you don't need a bunch of expensive tools to build your dream guitar. And I hope that I'm inspiring you guys to step out of your comfort zone and try something new here. And so I'm incredibly blessed and incredibly excited to try out these tools on this guitar build. 
and definitely want to promote Crimson Custom Guitars because um, it's awesome that they sent me all this stuff. And if you guys are looking for some high quality tools, definitely check out their website. But when this is all said and done, I'm going to end up giving away these tools to you guys. Or maybe I'll include them in my auction or something. And yeah, I might not make the nicest guitars on earth, but I, I like them. I think they're awesome and they don't require a lot of special tools. I invest very little money and people love them and I love them. It hurts so bad to sell them and I'm sure that's the way it's gonna be with this guitar. In fact, I'm probably gonna end up bidding on my own auction because of the sentimental value of being a part of this competition. I mean, who says I can't bid on my own auction? I mean, the money's going to charity anyway, right? Which, by the way, my charity that I chose is lifewater.org. And I just really believe in freshwater projects. I think there is no community in the world that should be without a freshwater source. And so I love that they do that. I love that they do that with the love of Jesus because that's the real true life-giving water in this world, right? The living water. I definitely support this charity. Um, they don't even know that I picked them, so I should probably reach out to them and let them know that I'm doing this. But I love the work that they're doing in bringing both physical water and living water to communities around the world. I just think that's amazing. So Now I know I harped a little bit on Crimson for sending me a blank guitar. Now that's obviously something that I had requested and I did it for a very specific reason. And that reason is I have no idea what I'm doing. And <laughs> I just didn't want to be limited by pickup routes and bridge routes and neck pocket and stuff like that. And so now that I have it, um, I'm getting some ideas. Yeah, I could have gotten one of those blank paddle bodies that some of the other guys have gotten, um, but they still have like a neck pocket and pickup routes and stuff that they're gonna be limited to. So this gives me a total blank canvas. I can still alter the design of the body a little bit if I want to, but I probably won't because I've wanted to build, you know, a PRS shaped guitar for a long time. I'm definitely excited to give this project a go and see what happens. So if you want to see what this guitar turns out like, definitely hit my subscribe button and go through and check out the other channels involved in this guitar competition and subscribe to them as well because there's definitely going to be some fun happening coming up here this month. All right, I'm Dan. You're watching Guns and Guitars and I'll see you in that next video.